There's one. There we go. There we go. Come on, stay on. Stay on. Stay on. There we go. There we go. Oh, come here, baby. There it is. Finally. Oh, God. Guy, little ball of action. Absolutely. <clears throat> Jesus. These quad hooks, man, they, uh, they do the trick. I'll tell you that. Oh, good God. There we go. Not a giant, but that's the biggest fish we've caught today. And uh, we were throwing a normal glide bait, tossing it out in deeper water, bringing it deep to shallow. And uh, I got on this, this side and I just decided we're going to switch it up and we're going to go shallow and see what's what. Sling the old bottom around. Not a giant, like I said, but that's the fun part about this bait, man. It it just gets bit, and they lash out. I mean, it's it's distinct. There's no question about the bite. That guy is 14 and three quarters. Heck, yes. There we go. There's one. Finally. There we go. What do we got here? Oh, guy. Okay. Is it a good one? Uh, it's not a bad one. There we go. Heck yes. There we go. Got a pretty windy day out. Obviously, it's always windier than Google says. And it is. Been chucking this bottom around. And uh, we've had a few followers, but that one was a good commit. We got pretty clear water, so I'm trying to make, trying to make some long casts, you know, so I can get that bite before they see the kayak and such. That's not a bad one. That's not a bad size fish. Okay. What do we got going on here, guy? We got a 15 and a half. Ooh, what do we got here? Is that grass? Oh, that's a fish. Come on, guy. There he is. There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right, that's what was nibbling. Not a big one. Not a big one, man. <clears throat> the old eight inch fluke still works though. We've, uh, you know, obviously that was my go-to in the winter time. But uh, calm day out, you know, fish aren't really in a feeding mood it seems. And uh, so just slowing down, fishing slow.
is that another one? There's another one. There we go. There we go. Back to back. Oh my God, that's a good one. That's a good one. I wonder if that was the one we missed prior. Oh God, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's, that's the one. Come here, baby. Oh, this thing wants to pull some drag, guy. Jeez Louise. Okay, you loosen this. Ooh, guy, come here, ooh. Ah. Okay, I messed with my drag too much. Come here, we need to land this fish. Stop screwing around. Oh, guy, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's another good one. Oh, come here, baby. Guy, that's a good sized fish. Yes, yes. Oh, that hook is absolutely down. It's going. Come here. Come here, big dog. Come here. Come here. Yes. There we go. That's, that's a good one. Holy hell, he smoked that lure. It is, that hook is absolutely disappeared. I let him have it for quite some time too. Look at that, popped right out. Get that hook out of your gullet. Mm, come on, baby. No, 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 no. There we go, let me get that hook out. There we go. Let's get that hook out of you. Oh, heck yes. There we go, that's a good one, man. You know, eight inch fluke, baby. Back to back cast, two bites. We're, uh, we're basically, there's a bunch of eelgrass over here. We're just tossing this, if I'm not mistaken, last time I looked at a map of this lake, this kind of area is the deepest section of the lake. And it's really, it's kind of warm out. Man, how am I gonna measure this guy? Okay. Oh God, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Come here, come here, come here. Not hooked well, there we go. Yes, yes, <laughs> oh man. So we had, oh God, Jesus, there goes my board. Son of a, oh shit. Oh, there's in my skin. There we go, come on, let me get you. Whoo, all right. Whoopsies, lost our uh, measuring board. Luckily, we still have our tape. Oh, man. So we had a follower, a good follower, right along the edge of these pads. So I've been, I've been making casts out deeper to where, I, you know, I'm assuming I'm hydrilla would be and fishing over that, fishing it over the deeper eelgrass, bringing it up to these pads. But we're also paralleling the pads where I can. The only issue is that the eelgrass shoots are coming up. So I'm getting hung up a lot, but there's just areas where they're not, that stuff's not as prevalent. So we're still making those casts along the edge of the pads and it's worked out, man. We had a, one follower right all the way up to the kayak. And then this guy maybe came out of the pads and just tongue, you know, smoked it or was hiding in some eelgrass out, you know, outside of the edge of the pads. Uh, who knows? I got bit, you know, I didn't, couldn't see, but that was a good bite. That was a definitive bite, which is what we're after. we go there's a fish there's a fish come here baby not a big one all right man it's the first bite we've had all day there's a lot of the water's really really dirty you know we've gotten some rain and stuff there's a lot of boat traffic now the weather's warming up and uh the water's just really murky a lot of algae and stuff so um 
a lot of grass you know kicked up and stuff from all the boat traffic so I, it's kind of hard to throw the treble hook baits so I've kind of pivoted you know any spots I can think there's a little deeper water I can get away with it I've been throwing the clash the tiny clash and uh oh man I get to try my new board and we've been throwing some flukes and stuff fishing slow but uh just kind of zoned out on that one man got bit There's one. There we go. On the jingle jangle, baby. All right. <laughs> here we go. We're just floating out here. No man's land. Pitching this uh, A-rig in deeper water. It's been a slow morning. Uh, I've been throwing a big lip bait. Kind of more shallow and stuff. Just not much happening. There's a lot of wind going on, so... I busted out the uh, the bladed A-rig, which I usually do not fish a lot. I usually opt for a more stealthy mode, but uh, plenty of rip on the surface. The water's a little, a little dingy. That's a decent sized fish. That bite right at the kayak, which uh, is usually the case when I fish an A-rig in deeper water. It's like they track it and then they you know they just follow it up and hammer it once it gets close to the surface so a lot of your bites come at the end of the cast right at the kayak oh god there we go there we go There we go. Nice. There's another one. Oh, come here, baby. All right. Heck yeah. Absolutely. Basically, we let the wind take us all the way back to the other side of the lake. So, made that drift, paddled back, back over to this side to kind of make that same drift. I scooted up a little, so... There's the main lake point right there. So there's kind of a shallow, you know, point that comes off. So now we're close to that point. We're going to drift kind of across closer to it. First cast. There's another one right there. Oh man, there was a couple with it. There's another one with it. Look at that. That's a nice one. Oh man. Right at the end, right at the end of the cast, that bit hat that bite happened right at the kayak again. 
like I said, we're, we're out here in no man's land. We're just in open water, slinging this bladed A-rig around. Man, that's exciting. There was another fish with it. And uh, like I said, man, you just, once the, once the, you know, this bait ball representation gets towards the surface, it's like the fish know they have it pinned and that's when they bite. So you probably, they're probably tracking it for some time until they get right up close and right at the end of your cast when the bait, you know, when it's at the end, that's when they bite. And it's, it's always super exciting. Always a good time. Oh God, there we go, there we go. There's a fish. Oh my God, that's a good one. Holy cow, there it is, there it is. Nice, oh my God. All right, how's that? That literally, <laughs> my second cast ever with that jackal dunkel bait. I've been looking at them. And they're always out of stock and I finally found one I was like you know what I'm gonna give it a try it's kind of cool it's got this frog hook on it so you can set it up oh and it is sharp man oh my god that thing that thing keeps them pinned for sure it's got this kind of frog hook and you can rig it on the top or the bottom there's a lot of grass where I'm fishing so top it is but second cast you know I'm just like I do with kind of bigger size baits, I kind of fire them out deep and just swim them up shallow to me, to grass edges and stuff. Second cast, man, that's, if that's not, uh, you know, pimping out a product, I don't know what is. That's a, that's a little positive reinforcement there for buying a bait when you get bit on the second cast. That is awesome.